The camp in Minecraft Dungeon serves as more than just your base of operations with a couple test dummies and a couple vendors to work with. There are quite a few secrets hidden around here, hints towards potential future expansions of the game, and a bunch of emeralds and hidden chests that can get you some good quick money and some good quick loot. Let's quickly talk about a hidden chest that has been found via Reddit, the temple on the other side of the drawbridge and how to get to it, and the secrets held within in this video. So first up, you're probably going to find several of these lobby chests around your lobby. Each of them contain 50 emeralds. From what I can tell, one of them spawns about once a day at the very minimum, and if you collect them all, you can expect to find one again the next day. I have seen items reappearing in multiple times in the same location, but I've yet to exactly nail down the frequency. Just know that whenever you head back to the lobby, it's worth your time to look around if you want about 50 emerald. But that's not the only chest available in the camp. I have to give partial credit here to Dat Raccoon, who looks like they posted this on Reddit around the same time that I kind of found it, but I'm not sure if I might have just in a haze subconsciously watched their post. I will link to it down in the description so you can get to that post and go show them some love for finding it. But there is a hidden item chest in the far southeast corner of the map and here is the path that you need to follow to go get it. Near that chest you will also see this partially completed nether portal with one block missing, which seems to hint towards future expansions for the title, although the two current island expansions appear to be snow and jungle themed according to recent data mines, the nether isn't exactly going to be the next planned DLC, but it looks like they're not completely discounting it for the future of Minecraft dungeons. From the nether portal, this is also the way to get around to that temple that you might have seen with the drawbridge up. Follow the path that you're about to see on screen to be able to get to the switch, drop the drawbridge, and enter the temple. Once inside the temple, it's time to search for the mystery of the runes. Now, if you go to the very top of this temple and press the button, you will see the top left rune illuminate in purple. This indicates pretty much I think that you beat the game because you can't access this area until after you've completed the game on default difficulty. From here, it's time for a search for runes, but they're not gonna leave you completely unaware and with no clues on how to get to them. This portrait of a dog on the left-hand side, if clicked, will trigger both a audio and visual cue towards where a potential rune is. For example, if you happen to see this cue, You're going to want to head to the desert temple and right around the area where you get the gold key as indicated by that portrait frame there is a hidden switch behind the bushes here on the top right hand side of this room click it and enter the room to be taken to a secret area with a thin platform and a switch that you activate a small cutscene will play and you will get the next room I'm in the process of collecting all of these secret rune locations and trying to find them all on all of the maps and I will get a quick tutorial guide up here on the channel probably a little bit early next week depending on how it goes to find them. I'm trying to find them all myself and not look on other guides. I know there are other people who have probably found them all by now because they have more game time than me but I'm trying to do a lot of the searching here of my own accord. But once you collect that, if you were to return to the temple and press the button again, you will see a new rune illuminated for the rune that you just collected. You can only collect each rune once, so once you have something, you can eliminate it from the rotation, and it eliminates itself from the map pool. Click the dog portrait, get your next clue, and head off to your next map to try to find your next rune. And that's pretty much it for the rune mystery so far. The search is on for additional runes and additional hidden areas in all of the levels, as well as how to access the temple, the overworld portal, which is available, hinting at a future nether expansion, and that secret chest in the corner that gets yourself a sweet piece of loot. 
If you've been enjoying this or found other secrets in Minecraft Dungeons, including the secret levels, I'm going to be working on additional guides for those as well. So make sure to keep an eye out. I'm really loving this game, if you can't tell. I'm super excited about it. But until next time, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, a positive rating would be super appreciated. Subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss any new videos on MC Dungeons or anything else that I'm going to be doing very soon. Go out there, be good to each other, and I'll see you around.